G'day legends, welcome back to another bloody episode. We have got our new van, we are towing the Urban, and we are down in the Margaret River region. Again. <laughs> Again. So, we did do yelling up the other day guys, so we're literally only 40 k's from there, along Caves Road. Mountain biking, surfing, uh, wine tasting, uh, camping in the beer forest. Tasting. <laughs> beer tasting. Yeah, beer tasting. So yeah, it's going to be a sick episode, and we are meeting up with our lucky charms, Dave and Danny West. Seems that... Every episode that they're included on is a ripper. So today is going to be no exception. It's going to be awesome. We're going to show you guys a bit of the van and um, yeah, show you guys around Margaret River and can't bloody wait. So first stop is Cheeky Monkey Brewery. We're going to go get some beers for the trip and then we'll head to the campsite, which is Conto's campground. Um, it's a day poor campsite, so Department of Parks and Wildlife. And it's, oh my gosh, $11 oh, per yeah, adult 11. per night. Yep. Um, and you just book online through the Department of Parks and Wildlife website. Yep, so the first thing guys, number one tip, go get yourself some local beers and none better than the Cheeky Monkey Brewing Co. They make some awesome pale ales and uh, some of your normal mainstream beers, a nice draft. So we're gonna be giving them a red hot crack. Go pick up a few cartons and um, hit the road, get to Contos and we'll show you around a bit. So anyway, strap in, grab a coldie or a coffee and um, enjoy guys. Ew. We just cruised into Cheeky Monkey Brewing on um, Kay's Road there and we picked up a few sneaky cartons. So this is their XPA and also a Kolsch Ale, which I can't wait to rip the top off a few. These guys make some awesome beers, so if you're down this way, definitely get onto them. Um, stop in at their, their spot too, it's beautiful right on the bloody lake there. And um, yeah, everyone's welcome. So come down to Cheeky Monkey and get your beers. up our beers from Cheeky Monkey Brewing. It's on Caves Road down in Metricop, is this area? Or yeah. Will yep. Um We're on Caves Road, it's a pretty iconic road down here, very dangerous. Um, I think the speed limit used to be 90, but it's been reduced a bit because of all the crashes that happen. So if you're heading down to the area, make sure you come down Caves Road. Pretty much everything in the area is on Caves Road. We've got all of the caves, obviously. And there's also heaps of breweries, wineries, cheeky monkeys on this road. So make sure you head in there. They've got a beautiful outdoor area right on this like dam thing. Yeah, so picturesque. Yeah, it's so yeah. beautiful. And then indoors, it's like very industrial. It's super cool spot. So definitely recommend coming down here if you're in the area. So on the right hand side of the road, you've literally got waves, um, most beautiful remote beaches that you won't see anyone at pretty much from yelling up all the way to Augusta. And then, like Sarah said, on the left side of the road, you've got all the caves, all the touristy things to do, wineries, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, like Sarah said, it is very dangerous. So like we said in the intro, we're gonna try to give you guys a bit of a guide of everything that you should get done down here. So pretty much the region is renowned for caves, wineries, mountain bike trails, and surfing. And a lot of other hiking, little things. Hiking, hiking. anything True. outdoors, nature. So there's so many things you can do down here and there's literally no chance in the world we're gonna cover them all today. <laughs> so um, strap in for a good episode. We are meeting our mates Dave and Danny down the road here at Conto's Campground. We're gonna show you guys this cool little campground, but we'll also let you know a few other campgrounds in the area if this one is full. So you can't really free camp anywhere along this coast. That's the only thing about it. Mm. They're all ranger run campsites. And obviously you've got your illegal campsites too, which we won't tell you to go to, or you can go to if you want to. But yeah, pretty much no free camping in the area. So don't think that you'll be getting away with that. And the ranges are pretty hot on that and also fires. So check your fire zones, check your times of the year, um, because you don't want to cop a five grand fine for having a fire. So anyway, we're going to keep driving and uh, we'll, sh we'll show you our campsite when we get there. So. So me and 
Dave have had a good idea and it's not beers in juice, so we haven't had any alcohol. But Dave's a good kite surfer and he reckons if I tie a rope around his waist, I'll be able to skitch him like toe in with just the power of the wind. And we're not sure how it's gonna go because it's blowing a gale, but we're gonna have a crack, so hope you guys enjoy this. All right, describe how me and Dave went this afternoon tandem kite surfing. Atrocious. Atrocious. Come on. Actually, no, it was pretty. It was pretty impressive once you got it. Yeah. It just took a while. We're just making chips. You know. Oh. So that there is the grill, and you've got to leave the door open apparently, or it'll melt the all of the seals on you. I think that's common knowledge for a grill. <laughs> and then we're also having dewy. So dew fish with a bit of tanco mix on it. And we're gonna cook it outside, which is super sick. I haven't done the caravan walk around yet, but this is the outdoor kitchen. How bloody good is it? Um, so we got grill like Sarah was talking about before, and then we got a four burner up the top here. And it, the whole van actually acts as a wind block. So to cook the dew, I'm actually accompanying that with a Cheeky Monkey XPA. This is a, um, a great pale ale with notes of passion for no, it. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. It's, yeah, it's a really good beer, but I actually really rate it. And I also rate this fridge drop down slide here too. Yeah, even I can reach in it. That's a bit of a sneak peek for um, what's to come in the walk around. So we're going to cook this feed up and um, we'll show you once we finished it. So this morning, me, Danny, Amy and Elliot went down to Contos Beach, spent the morning there. Keelan and Dave went surfing all day, of course. Um, and now we're going to go into town, head to Cheeky Monkey Brewery and have a few drinks there. This is the campsite. So we didn't show you this yesterday, but pretty much it's deep or run. And um, yeah, this is it pretty much. And we've got our own spot here. And the way it works is that you pick a campsite, so you book a, a spot at the campsite, but you don't know actually which site you're on, mm. and then you rock up and choose one. Um, so it's pretty cool the way they're doing it. And the campsites are plenty big enough for a van bigger than ours, so definitely bring your big vans in here, it's beautiful. So we've just got um, Salty Troop behind us, absolute legends. We just had a few beers at um, Cheeky Monkey with them, obviously out on the mid strength. And now we're heading back and giving them a bit of a tour of the southwest. 
all the stuff you can do on Caves Road and um, just pointed out the Venice farm which is actually, well venison, which is actually deer meat. So there's a few uh, farms around here that actually harvest deer. It tastes a lot like lamb, is what I'm telling it. They didn't seem to um, prefer it too much. So. so if you had one thing to say on the YouTube, what would it be? Uh, follow the salty troop and get around wandering more. <laughs> so that was follow the salty troop and get around wandering more. Shameless plug from them too. That was a shameless plug, mate, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> so we just got back to camp. Continuing with the Cheeky Monkey Brews. These things are absolutely outstanding. You can drink them all bloody day. I'm not just saying that too. And yeah, we're gonna have a little campfire tonight. Danny's prepared a nice little cheese platter, which has got a, a signature part of the cheese platter is a salami rose. So I'm gonna show you guys that. And I've just lit an absolute crack of fire. So let's go sit around it and uh, have a few of these. Yo. So we've just woken up this morning. We spent the morning doing a bit of work in the van. And now we're gonna go down to Contos Beach, which is actually where we went yesterday. It's like five minutes down the road. It's a beautiful little bay. Um, boys are gonna surf and we're just gonna chill on the beach again. So the beach this morning was a bit windy and uh, we've made our way down to the Brennup Forest here. This is a quintessential spot if you're tra travelling through this area and it is full of these huge carry trees. They're humongous and they're very ancient so definitely come down here. It's so beautiful and these trees are often mistaken as snappy trees which are found in the Kimberley and the Pilbara region but they are not. They are carry trees so they grow a lot bigger and um, we'll show you some shots of them now.
So we've just got back from the forest. That was a good little explore mission in there. And we're cooking up some dinner. So the worst thing about having a lot of battery power is that your friends want to use your battery power because they don't have as much. So Danny and Dave have just cranked up their air fryer and we are chewing through 133 amps right now. And that, my friends, is a lot of amps. What do you guys have to say for yourself? Thank you. <laughs> and the pizza better be good. Is that 2,000 watt? I think so. Yeah. yeah, sweet. Can you show me the pizza now? Yeah. Look at that. All that chicken skin. I'll show you the final product once they use all our battery. <laughs> <laughs> so Dave, if you want to get a battery system like this, where do you go? To iTech World. And, and what code do you use S for that? SK10. CUT! Sorry, SKT10. Ah, look at that pizza. Finished. Yum. What sort of pizza is that? Just like chicken, capsicum, onion. What do you call it though? Danny Pizza. <laughs> oh, cool. down to Caradale where my best friend lives and we've dropped our van off there and we're heading down to Contained Coffee in Augusta this morning. One of our friends owns it and she's pretty much opens it from December through to April so just the summer season and it's in a little old sea container and she's converted it into a coffee van. It's all run by her and her partner and they run it on their families caravan park down there so we're gonna go down support local and have a little coffee there and show you guys what it is it's so good we'll put um the the wiki camps link for their caravan park if there is one um we'll drop a pin but it'd be sick if all you guys if, if you're passing through this way definitely go down and grab a coffee off them it's just a small gesture and you'd be supporting good local business you know what i mean and so, they're a young family yeah about to get married so so if you know you're coming through this area make sure you save it and uh yeah come down and grab a coffee from these guys we're not getting anything out of promoting them they're just legends and uh we like getting around local business so definitely go get a coffee off them So we've just had a few coffees at the Contain Coffee. I'm feeling pretty caffeinated right now. I probably shouldn't have had that second one. But I'd just like to point out this little caravan park. It's one that sort of slips under the radar. Um, it's called West End Retreat Caravan Park. And yeah, so Em, the lady that runs the coffee shop, she, her um, family actually runs this caravan park. And yeah, it's such a nice spot. And it definitely slips under the radar. Um, and a lot of times the big RACs and the big fours sort of get your business where Something like this probably should tickle your fancy a bit more if you got a boat They've got a uh, I and mean, they've got a boat ramp out the back and all the sights and stuff are just beautiful So yeah, definitely check this one out. It's on the way into Augusta um, And um, let them know that you follow Sarah Keelan travels and yeah, they'll be able to fit you in so Yeah, keep this one in mind guys. Uh, we're gonna go to the Hamlin Bay now and uh, look at some stingrays, so that's pretty exciting, let's do that. Appalachian sunrise meets 
spot to go after you get coffee only like 15 minute drive and there's always stingrays here in the shallows and they swim around your feet and stuff but today there's not any so we're gonna try and find them <laughs> hey we're just down at hamlin and we seriously cannot <laughs> find any stingrays normally there's like 10 20 stingrays just buzzing around your feet just tickling your big toe sucking on your pinky um and yeah can't find any i'm personally a bit scared of them ever since steve died I mean, if a stingray can take him out, they'll take uh, us out. Yeah, they'll <laughs> take us out. He's a pretty hardy bloke, and uh, yeah, I don't really want to mess with him anymore. So, anyway, even though I'm scared, I'm still going to try to find one, and um, we'll show you if we find one. So, so stay with us, guys. We will find you a stingray. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming. Golden, I'll follow them. Golden. Oh, there's one on the screen. There's so many midges in there. That was feral. They were like, oh, going in my nose. Yuck. Mount Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden. I'll follow them. So a fair bit has happened since we got our feet touched up by the stingrays. So a few uh, cheeky stingrays down there. And since then we went into Mark River, grabbed some food and then went back out to the ocean uh, near Prevly, which is actually the coast side of Margaret River. And I found a fun little wave. I'll drop a clip in now. Since then guys, we then made our way an hour sort of further south, uh, actually not too much further south, but mainly inland. And this one is gonna be next week's episode, so I'm gonna give you a sneaky peek uh, at that in a second. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been a good episode. We tried to cover everything that we wanted to cover. Uh, it's a bit tough when you uh, have a lot of activities to do and fit them all in within three days. What doesn't help is actually Sarah's gotten gastro and she's not well at all at the moment so we're fighting through that she'll be all right for the next one um, but I'll give you a quick sneak peek about what we're doing in the next episode so we haven't sold the caravan guys like I said this is a bit of a sneak peek into next week's episode so we haven't sold the caravan but come in to our new home for the next couple days it's pretty specky check this out doesn't get much better than that. So there's your teaser. That's where we'll be starting next week. And then we're gonna make our way further south, which we can't wait to bring you. So make sure you subscribe. And also we are giving away a jump start at the moment, thanks to iTech World. So we're giving away a JS80, but you have to be subscribed to our YouTube channel, iTech's YouTube channel, as well as our Instagram and iTech World's Instagram. So make sure you do that. Follow our Instagram, that's where all the details are. We're gonna be doing another giveaway. So we're gonna be giving away something that's worth a lot more than a jump starter in the near future. So you have to be subscribed and you also have to follow the Instagram. So 
make sure you do that, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. So, cheers. Appalachian sunrise.